Namaste. I am Nagaraj, Mathematics Professor from Bagalkot. Today, I am here to discuss about geometry topic on CET and JWE based exams. Today, my topic is on straight lines. As we know, the basic geometry, the like distance formula, section formula, different forms of equations of straight line, angle between straight lines, everything. These are all the basics. I hope you have studied well. The first question, the distance between the points a cos alpha, a sin alpha and a cos beta, comma a sin beta is. Options are a cos alpha minus beta by 2, option b 2a cos alpha minus beta by 2, option c a sin alpha minus beta by 2, option d 2a sin alpha minus beta by 2. Dear students, it looks very simple example based on distance rule, but if you apply distance rule, we will have to apply trigonometric multiple and sub multiple angle relations here, it takes a lot of time. So, to solve this example, I am going to come with shortcut, the simple method to solve this problem, please have a look on this. See, taking this point as A, taking this point as B, if you apply distance rule, A cos alpha beta minus A cos alpha whole square plus A sin beta minus A sin alpha whole square under square root. But cos beta minus cos alpha, you need to apply cos c minus cos d formula, it takes a lot of time. So, to solve this problem, just I am going to give you a shortcut technique is, in this point, taking alpha is equal to 90 degrees, taking alpha is equal to 90 degrees, beta is equal to 30 degrees, beta is equal to 30 degrees beta is equal to 30 degrees and taking a is equal to 1, taking a is equal to 1. So, substituting this all values in the given points what happened? a is equal to 1, cos alpha cos 90, 0 that is this point will become 0 comma alpha is 90, sin 90 is equal to 1, the first point becomes 0 comma 1 and again here cos 30 what is cos 30? Root 3 by 2, the second point becomes root 3 by 2 and, and now this sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2, sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2. Look at this, if you apply distance formula here, what happened? Square root of root 3 by 2 whole square what? 3 by 4 and plus 1 by 2 minus 1 whole square minus 1 by 2 whole square is 1 by 4 after simplification you get answer is 1, answer is 1, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 by 4, it is 1. But now, which option satisfies this condition, which option satisfies? Suppose here, if you substitute alpha is equal to 90, beta is equal to 30, A is always 1, therefore 90 minus 30, 90 in the first option 90 minus 30 is equal to 60 by 2, 30 cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 which is not equal to 1 and again in second option alpha minus beta by 2, alpha is 90, beta is 30, 60 by 2 30 cos 30 again root 3 by 2 this is also not equal to 1 and here also alpha minus beta by 2, alpha is 90, beta is equal to 30, 30 by 2, 90 minus 30, 60 by 2, 30, sin 30 you get 1 by 2 which is not equal to 1, absolutely we left with only one option, option D is correct option because if you substitute alpha is equal to 90, beta is equal to 30, 90 minus 30, 60 by 2, 30, sin 30, 1 by 2, 2 to get cancelled, A is equal to 1, therefore, the answer will match with 1, therefore, which option? Option D is the right option. we will take next example, see the question now, in what ratio the line 2x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0 divides the line joining the points 
minus 4 comma 1 and 2 comma 7 options are a 2 is to 1 option b 1 is to 2 option c 1 is to 3 option d 3 is to 1. Dear students, as you might be knowing this question based on section formula immediately in the question the word divides as soon as you see the word divides immediately you think that it is based on distance section formula may be internal section or external section. So, the given line the given line is 2 x plus 3 y take only LHS part take only LHS part 2 x plus 3 y minus 5. The shortcut is first take minus sign substitute first point in LHS of the given straight line equation substitute come on 2 into in the place of x minus 4 plus 3 into in the place of y 1 minus 5 do not substitute in RHS again I will tell you to find the shortcut method is first initiate with a negative sign substitute the point in LHS of the given straight line and again in the denominator this is in first numerator substitute the second point in the denominator and again what 2 into 2 plus 3 into 7 minus 5 simplify it minus of minus 8 plus 3 minus 5 upon 4 plus 7 3 is a 21 minus 5 and after simplification look at this minus 8 plus 3 minus 5 minus 5 it is minus 10 upon look at once again minus minus 8 plus 3 minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 21 plus 4 25 minus 5 21 plus 4 25 minus 5 is 20 and here again before minus sign and therefore it will be minus into minus plus it will be equal to what 1 by 2 the right option is b that is the ratio is 1 is to 2 once again dear student just note down this is important shortcut to find out the ratio when the line dividing the line joining the two points note down start with negative sign in the numerator and denominator substitute the first point on LHS and substitute the second point in substitute the second point in denominator and after simplification we are getting 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 is to 2. Please note down. Let us consider another example. The example is area of triangle made by the line 4x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 with the coordinate axis is options are 1 by 8, option b 1 by 4, option c 1 by 2, option d 1 by 16. Again in standard method if you try to solve this first we have to see that how the straight line where the straight line cuts x axis and y axis afterwards you have to find out base and height using the formula half of base into height. So, again it is also time consuming fact how to solve this problem in, in the simplest manner and as well as how to save the time solving this question. So, as the line is and remember this this is a small this is the thing diagram I am going to draw this we are going to find out look at this how the diagram first looks that you must be the line cuts both x axis and y axis. So, we have to find out the area of the triangle made by the line with the coordinate axis as in the given line the a is 4 and b is 1 and c is equal to 1 look at this in the given line a is 4 and b is equal to 1 c is equal to 1. So, to find out this area the import direct formula I am going to give you or it is a trick 
c square upon 2 times of modulus of a b. Once again note down this, whenever a line cuts both x and y axis to find out area of the triangle, the simple trick is c square upon 2 times of modulus of a b. Here c square is what again? 1, 2 times of modulus of a b, a is equal to 4, again b is equal to 1, therefore, it is equal to 1 by s yes, 2 into 4 what? 8. So, modulus of 4 is again 4 and 4 to the 8. So, therefore, the right option is again a is the right option. Let us consider another example again. The angles of the triangle formed by the lines x plus y is equal to 0, x minus y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 7 are options 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees. Option B 60, 60, 60 that is equilateral triangle. Option C 45 degrees, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. Option D 60 degrees. 75 degrees and 45 degrees. Before solving this example, please note down one thing, observe the given data properly, where x is equal to 7 is a line which is parallel to y axis, one is and here this line you consider this line, it is in the form of y is equal to mx that means it is passing through origin, here itself immediately you can guess that a line passing through y is equal to x that means where the slope is 1. If the slope is 1 is angle with the positive x axis will be 45 degrees. So, I can just I will suspect that option c or option d the out of this. So, directly we can rule out these two. Let us check it once again by drawing simple diagram. So, here look at this now this is the straight line this x axis and y axis y is equal to x that is this is origin 1 2 3 4 somewhere it is x is equal to 7 this is the line is x is equal to 7 and uh, y is equal to mx it will pass through origin that means this angle is 45 degrees. So, this is 45 degrees and y is equal to minus x this is passes through 135 degrees this will pass through it is like this this is 135 degrees that means this is 45 degrees that is right angle it is a right angle triangle. If it is 45 degrees it is called isosceles triangle therefore, it must be right angled isosceles triangle it must be right angled isosceles triangle therefore, option c is the right option 45, 45, 90 degrees. So, let me once again explain this why option c is the right option as x is equal to 7 this is the line is x is equal to 7 which is parallel to y axis and this line if you consider the line y, x minus y is equal to 0 this is equal to this can be written as y is equal to x y is equal to mx therefore, slope is 1 which passes through origin slope is 1 means which will make an angle 45 degrees with the positive x axis and the second line it can be written as y is equal to minus x where the slope is minus 1 that means the line it makes 135 degrees with the positive x axis that means it is 45 45 it is 90 degrees it must be right angled isosceles triangle there is no chance of getting any angle is 75 degrees in this diagram therefore option c is the right option Dear students, we just move on to next example. See the question now. The area of the quadrilateral formed by the points 3, minus 5, 5, minus 1, 
2 comma 1 and minus 3 comma minus 1 options are a option a 26 square units option b 24 square units option c 22 square units option d 20 square units how best we can solve this example in easiest manner again i'm going to give you a small trick and technique to find out this area of quadrilateral dear students observe this so i have taken the given points are a b c d so here a is 3 comma minus 5 and b is 5 comma minus 1 and this one will take it as c and c is 2 comma 1 and this is the point we take it as t d and d is equal to minus 3 comma minus 1 see that the vertices of the quadrilateral are a b c d to find out area direct technique i am going to apply please concentrate on this so to find out area it is half of determinant of look at this half of determinant of first first corner what is you take that is x coordinates difference of this 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 difference of x coordinates you take in the next row again difference of these two you take therefore how much it is ah, 5 minus of minus 3 and again similarly you can take y coordinates first minus 5 minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 again minus 1 minus of minus 1 minus of minus 1 please again I will just give you the idea of this technique to find out area directly first choose the corner points choose a and c difference of x coordinates in first row first column difference of x coordinates of the point b and d in second row first column and again similarly that side you can write y coordinates minus 5 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and simplify it now the result is 1 by 2 3 minus 2 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 6 and 5 plus 3 8 and minus 1 plus 1 it is 0 minus 1 plus 1 0 therefore 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 8 6 uh, 48 and directly it will be equal to 24 area is always positive quantity the right option is b Let us consider another example. The problem is coordinates of a point P on the positive y axis if it forms an equilateral triangle with the vertices A 3 comma 2 and B minus 3 comma 2. Options are option A 0 comma 2 plus 3 root 3, 0 comma 2 plus 2 root 3, option C 0 comma 2 plus root 3, option D 0 comma 3 plus root 2 we have to find out the coordinates of a point we first draw this point p on the positive y axis let us take this is the p point on the like this we have to find out its coordinates as we are aware any point lies on y axis whose x coordinate is 0 and we will have to find out now we have to find out y coordinate of the point p as if you observe the, all the options all x coordinates of the options are 0. So, it is very difficult to predict the option without solving this. So, the easiest way to solve this example is first locate the given two points on the diagram. So, a point is suppose we take a point is this is 3 comma 2 this is the a point its coordinates are 3 comma 2 first draw a simple diagram and b coordinates are minus 3 comma 2 this is b, co b point b coordinates are minus 3 comma 2 if you join a line so the total distance between this is 3 and this is 3 
the total distance between points A and B is 6, the total distance between this A and B is 6, that means whatever triangle it will form, the length of the, the side of the triangle is 6 now, equal triangle and the join this is P point join this form a triangle. Now, we have to find out the coordinates of point P. Now, since it is an equilateral triangle, the side is 6 means definitely all the sides are equal 6, 6. So, already we know that this is the length is this portion is 2 units. To find out y coordinate, we have to find out this portion and this portion which is equal to height of the equilateral triangle. We know that height of the equilateral triangle can be calculated as height of this root 3 by 2 into side root 3 by 2 into side what 6. So, to find out this height of the equilateral triangle once again note on this point note on this point to find out y coordinate already we are aware of this length this is 2 and now we need to find out this length. So, this length is which is equal to height of the equilateral triangle as the triangle forms is what equilateral triangle height of the equilateral triangle is equal to root 3 by 2 into side 2 3 is a that means this is the portion is 3 root 3 and total y coordinate will become 2 plus 3 root 3. So, therefore, this y coordinate is 2 comma 2 plus 3 root 3. I think the right option is A. We just move on to next question now. Coordinates of the in center of the triangle whose vertices are 0 comma 0, 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 3. So, if you draw the simple diagram here first, first we draw the diagram and just observe this what happened. The first vertex is at origin, the second vertex is at 4 comma 0, this 4 comma 0, we consider this one is a comma 0. And the second vertex, the third vertex is 0 comma 3, somewhere it is 0 comma 3, this is 0 comma 3 and this is you can consider as 0 comma b. So, now for this triangle we have to find out in center of the triangle. Always remember one thing, all the students see once again observe this carefully this technique. For any triangle whose vertices are with origin and one more other vertex is on x axis and third vertex is on y axis definitely coordinates of in center must be equal both x coordinate and y coordinate will be equal. Observe the options in options all coordinates are both x coordinate and y coordinates are equal. So, I will tell you the small technique for you people. So, that is very simple technique what we are going to find out is first product this x coordinates product this product of this x coordinates 4 into 3 divided by sum of sum of this sum of this a and b that is equal to 4 plus 3 plus square root of square root of 4 square plus 3 square as we know that coordinates of in center both x coordinates and y coordinates are equal that simple technique always a b product take product of a and b and divided by sum of a and b plus sum of squares of a and b and calculate it now here 4 3 is a 12 upon 4 plus 3 7 and this is 5 and 7 plus 5 12 and 12 12 get cancelled it is equal to 1 that is 1 coordinate is 1 definitely other coordinates coordinate must be equal to 1. Therefore, the coordinates of this in center of this problem is 1 comma 1, the right option is B.
dear students move on to next example the reflection or image of the point 3 comma 3 on the line x plus y is equal to 0 is options are minus 3 comma 3 option b 3 comma minus 3 option c 2 comma 2 option d minus 3 comma minus 3 first observe this the given line is always remember this is the given line x plus y is equal to 0 the point is 3 comma 3 is the point and assume that so draw the perpendicular line and this will be the as if you take this point is p this is called image of the point p now temporarily we take we have to find out the coordinates of p dash now and here you take this is the point of intersection is m and we have to find out the coordinates of p dash here p dash is the image of the point p in the line x plus y is equal to 0 let us take this coordinates of p dash as h comma k h comma k again let me explain once again here the line is x plus y is equal to 0 the given point is 3 comma 3 according to this question we have to find out the image of this point on this line on the line x plus y is equal to 0 and uh, see assume that p dash is the image of the point p which is 3 comma 3 has coordinates 3 comma 3 let we take coordinates of p dash as h comma k now we have to find out coordinates of h comma k this p dash is the image of point p the simple technique to find out is please note down all the students please first the image h minus 3 take out this h minus 3 is equal to k minus 3 subtract this first we have taken coordinates of image is h comma k subtract these two coordinates again subtract these two coordinates and divided by here you write a here it is equal to a is 1 and b is also 1 in the equation a is equal to 1 a the value of a you write that is here 1 and the value of a b is also 1 and again minus 2 times of 2 times of substitute this point substitute this point in LHS what happened 3 plus 3 divided by a square plus b square 1 square plus 1 square. So, therefore, the final simplification is h minus 3 is equal to k minus 3 is equal to minus 3 plus 3 6 and 2 to get cancelled that is equal to minus 6 k h minus 3 is equal to 6 h is equal to 3. So, comparing these two first equating these two and again equating these two h is equal to minus 6 plus 3 that is equal to minus 3 and k is equal to minus 6 plus 3 again what is equal to minus 3 the coordinates of image are minus 3 comma minus 3 the right option is d is the right option.